All right, guys, today what I'm going to deal with is some plantings. Beautiful, another one of my father's speciality. I used to look forward to them like nobody's business. So I'm going to fry these green plantings and I'm going to show you how I do it. Jamaican style. Yeah. So let's go. I'm going to wash them. Out. Alright, so these plants are now washed. What I'm going to do is cut them up. Not my favorite part. I'm going to use this small paring knife to cut them. Yeah. You know, on plantings, the sap can be a bit sticky, which I don't like. So to avoid that, what I normally do is oil my hands a bit. You can wear gloves, obviously. Some food preparation gloves, but I don't have any. So what I'm going to do instead is to... Um, yeah, you can see me here. What I'm going to do instead is to oil my hands and the knife. And then deal with the plantings okay so let's keep the camera back on this planting and the knife and you'll be able to see so I did a cooking vegetable earlier and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put some on my hand and I'm gonna put some on the knife so that it don't get sticky I'm sure there's a better way around this you can tell me in the comments. See, just like this. A little bit of oil there. I want it on my hand like this. Silly, isn't it? I don't know. But I don't want my hand to get sticky and this will help to prevent the sap from sticking on my hands and I just oops put a little bit of oil on the blade of the the knife and then this is how I did my plantings I don't like peeling them just like I don't like peeling banana I'm not perfect at it I'm gonna cut off the tops and score them make some stripes down the middle Back in Jamaica, I like watching some of the ladies. They're so good, even my dad. They make it look so easy the way that they just peel these green plantings off. These plantings are bought from one of the corner shops. Not too expensive, but in Jamaica, we'd have these growing on the tree. And um, look forward to getting a nice big hand of planting. But no such luck in England, unfortunately. So if you're in Jamaica now you have a nice bunch of planting on your tree, please take it from me. You're blessed. You're blessed, boy. I'll do anything now to just go and pick some planting from my tree. Alright, I'll score the plantings like this. And then I'm gonna try and just pry them out like that. Some of it already sticking on the skin, which is what I hate, but that's why I do it. See? And I'm not gonna throw with the skin yet. You know, when I cook, I like using every part of the plant. These skins you can dry them, blend them up, use them as compost. But I'm gonna keep some of the skins behind to help me to mash the plantings, which will, which I'll show you when we get to that stage. 
Right, so there's one. It's not perfect. Look at chip there, but you saw that. Uh, I'll just cut it out. And I'm very late with this meal, by the way. I did plan to do it for breakfast, but that never materialized. So now I'm planning to do it for lunch. And I, I like eating plantains at breakfast time. Alright, so that's one there. One down, two more to go. Well, three more, including. See? That's the situation. It's coming out slowly but surely. It's not coming out. Right. So that's how I just surprise on those forgot to cut this one so just cut it quickly right because I'm new to the editing now so when I'm playing this back I'm sure there's a way to fast forward it but I'm not too sure how to do it. So at the moment, you have to bear with me in real time. I know in Spain, they call it, I mean in Colombia, Latin America, planting is very famous. They call it platanos. And, um, they serve planting it seems with many meals and they make some things out of planting called arepos which I never tried before but lots of planting chips which is my favorite unfortunately this side of the world most of the planting chips comes from Latin America some of them from Ghana Ivory Coast it would be nice to see more planting chips from the Caribbean, especially Jamaica. We'll get some St. Mary banana chips now and again, but really do we get planting chips. All right, so I had five plantings. I'm using four of them to fry. I might end up frying the fifth one because look how small they are. So that's how they come out, skin peeled reason why I might end up doing the fifth one is because these look small. I left one back because I wanted to do planting porridge with it. But you know, there's so many different things you can do with planting. Very nutritious. Potassium, for the carbohydrates, a little bit of iron, lots of fiber. Yes, this planting natural, you know. So I'm going to cut them up like this. And then I'm going to season them. Well, when I say season, you see what I mean. I like adding turmeric to almost everything that I eat. Turmeric, very good herb, very good spice. And um, you'll see in a minute. So all those are cut up nicely now. I will show you. So you can see, cut up in small pieces, no specific specific size, and the ones that didn't come out of the skin, I just put them there. Excellent. So now I'm going to season lightly with some salt and um, a bit of turmeric powder. So I'm trying to stabilize the camera. There we go. This is salt I use, Himalayan sea salt. Just gonna grind some of that in. Then 
doing that, I'm gonna have to put some oil in the fire to heat that. Not much just yet, because I'm gonna put some black pepper later. See the black pepper. You know, my famous parsley by now, I'm just gonna put a little drip of that. Turmeric, can use this to make nice turmeric tea. My wife add it with milk. I'm just gonna add a little teaspoon of turmeric like that. You don't have to do all this by the way. You can just fry the plant in as it is. I'll put them in a the pot. I'm gonna add some cumin, whole cumin. It's gonna give it a little bit of spice. That's just what it looks like. Just a little bit of flavor. And this is what the pressed out ones look like. I know this one is one of them that got a bit burnt, but it's all right. It's only literally there is just a bit brown. Every, every, everybody else is all right. So just waiting on these in the pot to fry off. That's a good idea not to make anything go to waste because these little ones are not nice and crispy. I'm going to start putting in some of the flat ones in. Like that, you know. Take out these big ones. So, as you can see, none of these are burnt because the flame is turned down now. So, when you're doing it, let's see the heat. Low to medium heat, yes? And watch it very carefully because this stove is a bit complicated, let's put it that way. You have so many different burners. Each burner has a different heat intensity. I guess nothing complicated about that is the norm, but just mean you have to keep a close eye. So I'm gonna put the pressed ones in. One, two. This is supposed to be for lunch, but come up to dinner time, I guess you can impart in any time you like still. So I'm gonna turn the flame up a bit. But when you turn the flame up, you just to crisp up these small ones. <sighs> now we're in business. What that means is, good time to take these little small ones out, otherwise five more minutes they'll start burning. So they look nice and crispy. Right. 
touch more oil. Give him a little touch more oil. Gonna also sample this. Not bad. Mm. Just love that cumin on it. Then Colombians, the Sarkin, and it's, it's extremely like I've burned these two little pieces. Like to show you how high the fire is. When I see Colombians do it and it looks extremely nice and everything come out right. I always wonder how they get it that way boy. But this is my style planting. As you can see, this one is crisper than I would like, but that's ready. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. That's what's in there, it's not there. that um, grate of um, simile and salt with it as I was saying before yeah yeah so I'm doing this egg to go to plantings it's gonna go down well yeah nice yes welcome again exploration here well Shannon from exploration <laughs> um, here's the finished product so I have some nice egg there and some nice crispy crunchy planting over there and if this is going to be enjoyed now by the family so next time you come around 
after everything is done. Mm. If I have the time, walk with some planting. Or if I have some planting later on, you can enjoy some fried planting with whatever you want to have it with. I'm going to have it with egg, you can have it with mackerel, beans, anything. Yummy. Simply delicious. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me. Be patient with me as I develop my videography skills. And as they say in the YouTube world, like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the notification.